let's take a look at some of the features WeVideo has available for you. We're going to focus on this bar right here. So stock media allows you to find and search for whatever free images they might have. A lot of them are going to be pictures or videos. So if we click on this one, you'll see it's some sort of a little animation of a hedgehog. You can find all sorts of different things in here. So if we type in green screen, you'll see that there are all sorts of things that you can chroma key in your video. My media allows you to work with um, various different uh, clips that you want to provide. So you can first start by importing. Okay, you can select from your computer or you can select from your Google Drive. It's very simple, it may ask for permission, but now once you have permission set, you can now go through here and select whatever you might like for a clip. Maybe we need that for the school project. Okay. All right, so there's your media. You can also record. It's not gonna let me right now, um, but you do have several options. You can record your screen, you can record through your computer's camera, or you can do both at the same time. If you do both at the same time, a little picture will show up in the corner, kind of like this. You can also provide narration, which will be, um, uh, which will allow you to uh, record um, your voice so you can provide voiceover. You have text which allows you to provide different shapes and forms of text. So here uh, the first one is going to be motion and you can just drag that and drop that down anywhere and you can maybe add that. Um, simply double click on the text to choose your, your titles, um, to choose what word you want. You can also choose colors. You can also provide static titles, which are just gonna be like simple text. It's not gonna have any fancy motion or transitions or anything like that. In season are kind of funky and cool. So we can drag this one down here and you'll have this kind of fun animated graduation thing. You can also change the colors for some of these. So if you're going for school colors, there you go. Uh, let's see here, what else do we have? Oh, call outs, you also have various arrows, shapes, things like that in here. Audio, it provides you with some uh, sound effects. So if you want to have some sound effects of some pigs, all you have to do is drag that down or insects. It also gives you some free music. Uh, not a ton of free music, but you can always add your own music by clicking on my media and importing your own music. Make sure it's copyright compliant, please. All right, from there, we've got transitions. Please be careful of transitions uh, because sometimes they can get pretty funky cool, but at the same time, you may discover that it, it's very distracting to audiences, especially if you have a lot of really funky transitions uh, back to back to back to back to back to back. I like just a simple crossfade. That's like a nice little transition. So that's just gonna create like a little dissolve from one thing to another thing. Of course, you don't even need transitions between most shots. Uh, there's also lots of backgrounds. Now, for example, these backgrounds here are gonna be animated. So you can see that it'll move around. You can see, you can put uh, titles in front of them and do all sorts of other things. You've got solids, so if you just want a solid color, you've got overlays as well. So if you wanna put like a funky cool picture, bang in there you're more than welcome to and you've also got frames so you can frame things up as well those are the tools you have up here all sorts of fun little things to play with